So I did this Super Mario project for our uh, fall festival um, for the classical guitar department. I worked on it with um, Professor Bio. It was, I, I believe that it was a new, new experience for me to do some experiments with the video. Hardy is one of my private students and also I'm overseeing her project with Guitar Ensemble. And during this time of pandemic, she embarked on this fantastic project to multi-track herself and insinuate herself time party times four into a recreation reimagining of the Super Mario experience. I had different themes from different levels of Mario. So it was kind of like making me nervous, like video game for a school concert. So I don't know, like the, the biggest challenge was that, like to make it very academically. So I just uh, used a lot of experimental techniques and using that themes like together and changing between the teams. So I came up with this sweet, like, not a story, but like I did the game over thing between two themes and then the glitches between the other theme and restarting the game so the structure will be more completed. Uh, when I knew that um, it will all be online again, I was a little sad about it, but like, honestly, I was really shocked. Like our department is really doing great with it, like with all like new creative ways. So we can learn the maximum we can and we are really doing like, so I believe I really learned like even more skills with this virtual learning. <laughs> we kind of forced ourselves to um, learn new softwares like the Sibelius uh, Prozor Bill mentioned and like Logic Pro and Adobe Premiere and like new new softwares that was okay we knew it like a little bit but like we just uh, encouraged our, ourselves kind of <laughs> ourselves to learn them more. This is the way that artists are going to reach the world is is through these kinds of projects so it's just wonderful to me for me to see how she's, all these skills have come together and really blossomed for her.